Hello everyone, it's Sab Julia and welcome back to my channel, Republic of Korean Navy. Recent history, the ROK Navy R -O -K -N, or originated from the Maritime Affairs Association, which was established soon after World War II in 1945. This letter on info involved into the Korean Coast Guard when the ROK government was established on August 15, 1948. Uh, it renamed the Coast Guard as the ROK Navy. ROKN is also the, the oldest defense force in ROK. North Korea invaded South Korea and took it by surprise during June 1950. ROKN participated in the naval operation against North Korea, along with other UN nations' coalition navies including the US Navy. At that time, ROKN had a very modest capability which was re restricted to the coast. It had only two old World War II vintage petrol uh, frigates, about 10 coastal minesweepers min min and 10 small petrol craft. In spite of being a small force, ROKN made up of this handicap. By fighting with great spirit and courage, in the early years, ROKN continued to develop its combat fleet by adding destroyer escort, patrol frigates, patrol crafts, and landing ship tanks. The aim was to counter small craft invading from North Korea and improve its amphibious warfare warfare capability to support the South Korean ground forces. The US Navy fletches uh, class destroyers with their 5-inch guns and Kirin Kent's Allen M. Summer class destroyers uh, duly modernized were added to the fleet. ROKN focused more on surface combat than anti-submarine warfare. Obsolete surface combatants were decommissioned and replaced by newer systems. It appears that in this period, South Korea perceived maritime threat from North Korea and made its primary mission as coastal defense and also developing a blue water navy. ROKN also participated in the Vietnam War by develop, deploying transport ships in the South China Sea. And then in 1970 onwards, the development and moderni modernization of South Korea defense capability got a kickstart during the 1970s with the formulation of the 8-year national defense plan aimed at making the country self-reliant in defense capability by using its domestic technology and industrial resources. The result was the building up uh, I'm sorry. The result was the building of Ulsan class frigates and the Pohang class corvettes, corvettes, which are considered as the mainstay of ROKN fleet in coastal operations. Since then, South Korea hasn't looked back and has in indigenously constructed majority of its naval ships. The ROKN selected type 209 submarine of German origin for its first generation submarine. The first submarine was imported, second and the third were assembled in South Korea and the fourth, the fourth was built indigenously. Simultaneously, it added two submarine rescue ships from the US Navy and acquired another one. Built indigenously, ROKN also streamlined its fleet with a fewer type of surface competence, which was easier for maintenance and training. ROKN also reduced its, re its dependence on the US for small petrol craft or PC by building a large number of indigenously developed Sea Dolphin class and wildcat. Wildcat class PCFs or PCFs in the 1980s and 1990s. 19, yeah. These were required to counter the frequent instruction by PCs of North Korea. Apart from PCV, it also needed petrol killer boat medium or PKMs 
ARKN also increased its mind countermeasures capability by adding a few coastal mine sweepers as well as coastal mine hunters. Logistic, logistic support ships were also added to the fleet to sustain operation on the high seas. Amphibious warfare, ARKN also moder modernized and improved its amphibious warfare capability by replacing all ships with indigenously built for higher performance landing ships. Um, landing ship tank of the alligator class and introducing high speed air, air cushion landing craft. It also has added a landing platform dock. More would be added consider, considering that it was severely handicapped during the multinational relief operations when tsunami hit Indonesia in December 2004. Naval Aviation AeroKN has replaced its old S2 maritime surveillance and patrol aircraft with 8 P3CS Orion. 25 Lynx helicopters are also in the inventory for anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare. Anti-submarine warfare or ASW, the Korean Peninsula is surrounded with water on three sides with Sea of Japan connected by the Su by the Tsushima Strait to the East China Sea. Submarines of Russia, China, Taiwan, Japan, and the US operate in the region which implies that South Korea has to develop a reasonably strong AES. W capability which include search, detection, tracking, identification, and attacking. Thus it has to improve upon the existing ASW force of links helicopters, P3C Orion aircraft, and destroyers. And that's driving towards Blue Water Navy. After building a Navy capable of providing defense in coastal and regional waters, ROK and began looking beyond the Northwest Pacific region, especially due to South Korea's extensive trade interests across the high seas. ROK and inducted the German developed type 214 with an independent population and named it the Sun Wound 2 class. ROK and also started the construction of second generation of destroyers and third generation of destroyers almost simultaneously. The third generation of destroyer is equipped with the latest Aegis combat system. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you next video and bye bye.